welcome back to Mercedes Lounge. We have the 2023 Mercedes AMG C43 Coupe. Performance and handling has an AMG enhanced 3 liter V6 by turbo engine producing 385 horsepower with 384 pound feet of torque. Has an AMG speed shift TCT 9 speed automatic transmission and AMG performance for Matic all wheel drive system. AMG dynamic select options in terms of comfort and convenience has a 10.25 inch widescreen display and a 12.3 inch widescreen digital instrument cluster. Central controller, Burmester surround sound system has Bluetooth connectivity and also has optional equipment and value added packages such as the driver assistance package, multimedia package and AMG night package. Total retail $71,000. The exterior of this C43 Coupe is a manufactured diamond white metallic. The rear seats or the second row seats are quite tight. I don't think I can fit in here but uh, space for kids. Love the red contrast stitching and also the microfiber on the seats with the black MB text stitching, two cup holders and uh, seat belts in red to signal the feel of this C43 Coupe and once you push the driver's seat back it just reclines to that position the seats are quite comfortable bucket seats they have a sport feel as well love the material and the mixtures of the red contrast and the microfiber as well as leather there are sport pedals down there as well and the AMG sport steering wheel finish in leather perforated with a 12 o'clock indicator let's go for a drive So here we are in the interior of the 2023 Mercedes AMG C43 Coupe. I can tell you for a fact the engine sounds way better than the 2 liter inline 4 that has come out on the new C43. But this is the last generation, the outgoing C43 Coupe. Sounds incredible. We'll get a taste of the engine performance once we get on the road. But uh, right off the bat, I love how it sounds. I love the TCT 9-speed automatic transmission as well. That feels good. Brakes are quite solid, perforated discs at the front. And let's take a look at one more thing here. I want to see if we have uh, some metrics for the car. I want to see the engine data as we start to drive. powerful guys I think this just does it I mean I I'm yet to see the new C43 coupe how it's gonna sound but I, I tell you guys I mean uh, the AMG enhanced 3 liter V6 by turbo on this car is just phenomenal there is no ticking away from this car now obviously in the Sport Plus uh, mode dynamic select options sounds incredible and these are the options has a sport plus mode sport mode comfort mode individual mode and slippery I'm gonna set it back to the sport plus mode it just feels so robust very agile And uh, what about this AMG Performance steering wheel in the flat bottom design? I think it's just perfect. I prefer this steering wheel to the new steering wheel with the black pin liquid trim at the center here. I think this is more of a sporty drive experience in this new, in this flat bottom design with the AMG insignia. Love the aluminum and uh, just love everything. It's just so iconic in this car.
this just goes feels so good yeah as I was saying I think I love everything in this car the interior with the exception of the center display this is not MB wax it's not touch screen so that's the only thing which takes away from this C43 Coupe um, I think there are mixed reactions about the direction of Mercedes-Benz in terms of uh, the tech inside the more powerful AMG cars I think people want to have more mechanical buttons that they can touch as opposed to the to all the other touch options that you have I think that's the only difference that I hear in terms of complaints about the car but uh, it feels good obviously there are power shifters behind the steering wheel the downshift as well as the upshift on the right hand side I love the the ruggedness of this car I think having driven the new C43 I think this is just this feels more sporty uh, to be honest it feels more sporty in terms of how rugged it looks sort of the the steering wheel the the leather it's just it's just a better feel obviously a uh, touchpad at the center here to control the MBUX system there are different options and uh, <clears throat> it, it, it's just a different feel guys in this car It's just a different breed altogether now in terms of uh, styling I think it's uh, I love the mix of materials I think this is what I'm more used to uh, turbine inspired air vents right here which are pretty nice uh, good amount of airflow in the cabin And also I love the, the clock down here, the iconic AMG clock at the center here. Touch sensitive pads and buttons, navigation right here. You can use the, the knob at the center here, which is a, a dial knob to zoom in and adjust your navigation options. Obviously, there's a radio button right here, media. And this car, you probably need a USB cable to connect your Apple CarPlay and this old generation MB Wax. There is a button here to adjust your climate control system visually. Press this button here, it says menu, and you can see the climate control system. And overall, I think it's. Uh, it's a solid drive and uh, other options at the center here there is no NFC wireless charging but there's a space for your phone uh, it's actually quite tight it's not gonna close actually it might close but I don't want to lock my phone in here it's kind of quirky in terms of how it feels let's go back and check out the engine metrics as we head on back fantastic guys other things I love about this car is the feel of the Burmester speaker system the metallic feel of the speakers the Burmester speaker system and uh, power memory seating one to three here and also this car has thigh support there is a thigh extender right here 
so good and uh, the wood trim the natural ash green wood trim and uh, up here there is a panorama glass by the way it's a big window big pane and uh, back space is not so bad once you're sitting inside I could probably fit but it's gonna be a very tight fit inside here but I love everything about the car and the seats are to ride about for sure very comfortable seats I, I think it's such a fun car to drive I mean I don't know what else to say guys uh, I just love everything about this car that's just how it drives you know the MG enhanced 3 liter V6 by turbo engine compared to the 2 liter inline 4s on the new C43 uh, my money is on this car and it's cheaper so $71,000 the only thing I would change are the wheels I think these are tiny wheels 18 inch I'd put probably 19 inch and uh, put in some twin 5 spoke makes it look so rugged so good cornering is uh, so agile it just feels good the sports suspension is actually perfect in this car uh, so what do you guys think about this car on a scale of 1 to 10 leave a rating I need to hear what you guys think uh, drop some comments let me know what you, what's your best feature about this car and, and what do you think so far on this outgoing C43 coupe I've given you my opinion but I think it's it's just a solid ride I'm just gonna stop and take a look at the center console here this is the old generation you're not gonna see this again multimedia buttons on the right eco mode dynamic select options we've gone through that sport and sport plus and uh, suspension control traction control off manual mode um, I'm gonna set the key in here and close it so we can have a clean look but uh, this is it this is the C43 let's see how we take it on a drive again I'm gonna go to the vehicle data shows you different options it's in comfort mode I will set it to the Sport Plus mode and uh, head on back Wow and you can see the G-forces shows the, the most of the forces are towards the front of the car you can see the red button which is very useful when you're driving around canyons and uh, you can see how your car is performing and where the most g-forces are on the car that actually aids your driving behavior by the way I'm gonna go one more option up engine data by far the most exciting feature in any MB wax is just to see your engine torque and how your car is performing and that's really a look at the 2023 Mercedes MG C43 Coupe it's the last generation of the C43 Coupe I think it's gonna be a different look and feel on the interior I think I'd actually get this car because of the price except this is not touch sensitive or it doesn't have the new MB wax infotainment which I think every AMG needs to have that overall it's a good driving experience in this car nothing to take away from it in terms of performance and power delivery And I'm gonna set it down to the comfort mode so nice and uh, 
So do let me know what you think guys and subscribe to Mercedes Lounge for weekly videos. Again, this is a new 2023 Mercedes AMG C43. Just gonna park it back here. At least he has a camera system. It's not as exciting as the other ones. And uh, <clears throat> as we sign off, as we sign off, a big thank you to Mercedes-Benz of Draper. This C43 Coupe is currently available for sale. Total retail is $71,000. I'll leave a link in the video. Check out their website, Mercedes-Benz of Draper. And uh, you can find yourself a brand new AMG or they have a ton of electric cars as well. So make sure you check out the website. Again, ask for Corey Funk and he'll get you a good deal. Again, thank you for watching today's video. This is the 2023 Mercedes-AMG C43 Coupe. Till next time. Stay positive, guys. Peace.